What's up guys, in this video I'm not only looking ridiculous, I'm also going to be telling you my top 10 movies that you should be watching during this holiday season. Hey there nerds, today in this video it's another top 10 video and I'm giving my top 10 all time Christmas movies that I enjoy during the holiday season by myself or with my family. So over the years there's been many movies that are Christmas movies, some come out and they're terrible, most of them are terrible, and some come out that really sort of hit you, hit that holiday spirit in, inside you and, and you love. And then they become part of your yearly Christmas traditions. So yeah, let's get straight into the movies that I've picked. As you probably guess, a lot of them are, are older ones from the 80s. But okay, straight into it. Okay, yeah, number 10 is Scrooged. Now Scrooge came out in 1988 and stars Bill Murray. And it was basically like a, a modern take on the uh, original Christmas Carol. Uh, it's funny because in that movie they're actually, f he basically, Bill Murray's character works for a TV company and they're actually filming a Christmas uh, Carol special. Uh, and Bill Murray is a typical sort of business guy who don't, pretty much will throw anyone under the bus to work his way up the corporate ladder. And uh, basically, a Christmas Carol happens again with ghosts visiting him to turn him to change his ways. Uh, it's a really, really f good movie. I really enjoyed it, and it's um, from the eighties. Uh, it's got that eighties feel to it. So again, that hits me, and I love that. Uh, but it's a really good movie to watch during the holiday season, so I definitely would recommend that one. Okay, number nine is Jingle All The Way. It came out in 1996, and it stars the one and only Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, you know, it's not a great movie by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just fun about a father who basically works too much, is too work-focused, and completely forgets to get his son's Christmas present. Um, and he leaves it too late, and it's that year's top selling toy is completely sold out everywhere and it is the Turbo Man doll. Uh, there's plenty of uh, Turbo Man's faithful friend Booster. Nobody wants Booster! And, but he can't get a Turbo Man doll anywhere and then basically the movie follows him and another far, another dad who's done exactly the same thing played by Sinbad. Uh, they basically are fighting each other at every step of the way to try and get a Turbo Man doll from somewhere. Great, It's a great fun movie to watch with the kids. It's not a great movie, but it's it's a fun movie to watch with the kids. So yeah, definitely check that one out. Okay, number eight is Santa Claus the Movie. Now that came out in 1985, and it's basically about um, an elf who feels like Christmas is a bit outdated and comes up with all these new ideas and Santa doesn't really listen. So he goes off to work for a, like a toy company mogul and basically gets taken advantage of, comes up with all these ideas, and the guy basically, first of all, starts churning out bad toys, they're, they're breaking, and also this guy wants to to utilise the like magic elf dust stuff uh, in these sweets. Uh, it's almost gonna act like a drug making people float, and he's, he thinks people are gonna want this stuff. And, um, you know, it follows that, follows Santa Claus, and um, a, home, a homeless child, and a, sort of like a well-to-do, girl and they've got to save Christmas uh, from this evil businessman type guy. It's a good movie. I haven't watched it in quite a while actually. Uh, I need to try and pick it up but yeah it's, it's a good it's a good movie. It's an old movie uh, but definitely one to check out. Okay at number seven is Love Actually. Uh, came out in 2003. This is not the normal type of movie I'd watch. Uh, it's uh, basically a, a collection of intertwining stories of different people like, like the UK Prime Minister and um, different, just different people from different walks of life, and uh, basically it's just, just telling about uh, what's going on at this during this Christmas with, with them. It's such a great movie. I really enjoy it. My favourite part is the guy who's like um, a like a unlucky in love sort of British guy, and he decides to travel to America because he's going to use his British accent to pull the uh, American girls, um, and it works. Um, but that's, that's that's funny, and it's just a it's just a great movie. It's such a nice Christmas film, and it's got a nice sentiment about it in most parts. So that's definitely one for you to check out too. Okay, you know, number six is Elf. That also came out in two thousand and three. It stars Will Ferrell. It's basically about a a, a child that was um, 
at an orphanage and he basically sneaks into Santa's sack. Gets taken to the North Pole and then grows up with the elves in the North Pole. Uh, and then one year he decides, you know, he's very different from the elves and he wants to go find his, his real father in New York. And of course, in typical Will Ferrell fashion, it, hilarious hijinks um, occur. Yeah, it's a great, fun movie for all the family. I really enjoy it and definitely one to watch. Very funny. So yeah, definitely check that out. Okay, in at number five is one of my personal favourites and it is The Muppets Christmas Carol. I watch this every year without fail at some point. I'm going to watch it with Ryden tomorrow, in fact. And yeah, it's basically the a traditional Charles Dickens uh, a Christmas Carol performed by The Muppets. Uh, I just love it. It's, out of all the, the movies and adaptations of Christmas Carol, this is my favourite one to watch. I do enjoy it. I'm not a massively a fan of The Muppets, in all honesty, but this movie is just good fun. Love it. And it's the most light-hearted version of Christmas Carol to watch with children, I believe. So yeah, definitely check that one out with your kids. Okay, in at number four, it is the one and only Gremlins. Gremlins came out in 1984, and it's about a, a guy who brings home um, this creature from a, an old Chinese shop. Uh, it's a uh, mogwai, and he doesn't really fully understand what it is. The guy does tell him what it is and what not to do. Uh, don't feed, don't let it get wet, and don't feed it after midnight. But Obviously, this does does not happen, and basically, the Mogwai they named Gizmo gets wet, and then the the other Mogwais that uh, and he multiplies, and other Mogwais have come, and then these Mogwais then do eat after midnight by tricking the, the humans, and they become gremlins, and then they terrorise this town. Great movie, fun movie. Um, not a traditional sort of Christmas movie, but it's set during Christmas, so, you know. So, yeah, definitely check out Gremlins if you haven't already, but I'd find it massively hard to believe if you haven't already seen it. Okay, in at number three is two movies. We're going to put them together. It's Home Alone and Home Alone 2. Uh, great movies. Uh, the original one came out in 1990. Uh, basically, a boy, played by Macaulay Culkin, is left at home while the rest of his family fly off on holiday. In the second one, he gets on the wrong plane and goes to New York. Uh, they're both great movies, but basically, in both movies, he comes across these these burglars. In the first movie, they try to burgle his house, and in the second one, he bumps into them in New York, and they want to rob a toy, toy store. And in both movies, he has to foil them by setting all these elaborate traps, and it's just hilarious. Ryden watched this, um, for the way, he watched it last year, but he was a bit young. This year, he's watched it, and he said to me, in his own words, Daddy... This is the best thing I've ever seen. The bits where the, he's, he's uh, foiling the burglars, the traps, setting up the traps, Ryden for is absolutely hilarious. I've never seen Ryden laugh so hard in all my life. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely an amazing Christmas film to watch with the family and the kids. And it's just good fun, it's hilarious. Still makes me laugh to this day. Definitely two films to watch. Okay, in at number two is A National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. They come out in 1989, stars Chevy Chase. Uh, and it's about a guy who just wants to have the perfect family Christmas. He's got the in-laws uh, come in and, you know, setting up the decorations. Well, first of all, going to get the Christmas tree and he gets the most ridiculous Christmas tree. He has to dig up because he doesn't take an axe or, or anything with him to cut it down. Uh, there's a hilarious scene where he drives under a, a lorry. Um, scenes where he basically is putting up the decorations and they're not working. And he falls off the roof. He gets locked in the attic. It's just... So many hilarious scenes in this movie. It's so good. And Chevy Chase is just that sort of iconic, typical 80s person for me. If I, if I, if I see Chevy Chase, I think 80s straight away. He's, he was one of the biggest comedy actors in the 80s. Uh, it's just it's a fun, great movie. And yeah, definitely need to check that out if you haven't seen that one. Okay, so my number one Christmas movie is... You got it. Die Hard. Now, a lot of you out there will probably be telling me Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. Well, it's set in Christmas Eve. For me, it's a Christmas film. And yeah, okay, it doesn't, it doesn't teach traditional Christmas values or it's not about family or loved ones or anything like that. Well, it is to a degree because this guy's like a one-man army trying to save his family, his, his wife, um, in this building. So if you don't know the story of Die Hard, where have you been living for the entirety of your life? If you don't, it stars Bruce Willis. He plays John McClane, who basically comes to LA for Christmas because he's been living apart from his wife. She's got a job in a big uh, firm in LA. He goes to their Christmas party to meet her, and as they're having their Christmas party, some German terrorists turn up, and basically they, they take everyone hostage in the building, but not knowing that John McClane, who's a New York cop, is in the building. He gets away, and then he's 
systematically taken them out to save the hostages, save the day. Absolutely fantastic movie, one of the best all-time action movies ever. Uh, one of my favourite 80s movies. Uh, absolutely great performances from, from Bruce Willis and Jeremy Irons. Uh, it's, it's, it's brilliant, I love it. I can watch it so many times. And I'm just The iconic scenes... Um, you know, yippee ki and ho ho ho, now I've got a machine gun. I actually really want one of them jumpers. They sell the jumpers now, like with the blood saying ho ho, now I've got a machine gun. Uh, yeah, fantastic movie. I think it's a Christmas movie. You might not, but for me it's my number one Christmas movie. Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I really appreciate you watching and listening to my top ten. Um, hope maybe you've learned that there's some other films out there to watch that you might not have seen in the past. To be fair, most of these are quite popular, so you've probably seen them all. But yeah, if you haven't, go check them out definitely for sure this Christmas and get your kids watching them, etc. If you enjoyed my video, guys, please give it a like. Leave some comments in the comment section below. Tell me what your top Christmas movies are to watch this, this year or any year. And uh, yeah, if you don't believe Die Hard is a Christmas movie, then you let me know, but I think it is. And yeah, just let me know what movies you enjoy over the Christmas period. If you haven't already, guys, please consider subscribing to my channel for other movie-related content as well as other collectibles and pop culture stuff, a lot of nostalgia. Uh, I'm looking at some new ideas for the new year, so look out for that. So, uh, I'm going to come up with some new shows that I'm going to try and produce. So keep an eye on my channel for some more new exciting stuff to come. Uh, and if you do subscribe, hit that bell notification button to notify you when I do upload my new videos. Okay, thanks for watching, guys, and Merry Christmas to you all. Welcome to the party, pal.